Hey guys, welcome back to another monthly makeup basket. Gonna be showing you everything that I have in here for the month of March. I've got some products that I can't stop using along with some new makeup and skincare, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting up top here with some skincare and makeup prep. Uh, this is something I've had for a while, but I just added back into my routine. I think my skin responds really well to having an essence in there. So this is from Key Soul Care. It's the Tranquil, Tranquil Essence, and I just use it right after I wash my face for some added hydration. Then the rest is all kind of new to me. So I've had a lot of breakouts and CeraVe just launched this brand new acne product. So I thought I would try the acne control gel, 2% salicylic acid, but you're also getting the ceramides in there, which are great for your skin's barrier, along with glycolic and lactic acid. So a really nice product. I love having the mixture of acids in there. And then something else that I wanna try from Rock, I believe, or is it ROC? But this is the, I love how like medical it looks, but this is the Derm Correction Fill and Treat Serum. It's a retinol serum meant for fine lines. And I have a line on my forehead. And I've yet to get Botox, but. Then Elizabeth Arden sent me this, and I've actually never tried it. I know it's really popular from them. This is the eight hour cream, lightly scented. So there's two different versions. Ooh, I like that it has the eights on it. I'm gonna try this on my cuticles. Essentially, you can use this on like anything. Oh yeah, even for lightly scented, there's a scent. Then I have two moisturizers here. Uh, the first is from Youth to the People and this is their Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Uh, the Air Whip sounds really nice in terms of texture. It looks like it has a really nice lightweight texture. And then I think, I don't know if just the packaging is updated for this, but also maybe the formula. I love Clarence moisturizers and I love the original Hydra Essential. Oh guys. Wow, that eight hour cream kind of stinks, y'all. Um, this is the Hydra Essential uh, Moisture Cream. If you have not tried Clarence Skincare, it is so overlooked in my opinion. This is such a great moisturizer for any skin type. And for sprays, I actually don't really have much going on up here. I've been using a lot of the Benefit Professional Spray, so that's up here. And then uh, a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Starting out with foundation drawer, I just tried this today for the first time and really liked it. It is the MAC Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydrating Serum. I'm gonna be primarily using this like a primer, so I figured I'd put it in here. And then I haven't been using this a ton, but I really loved the shade. It's the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Lit in Honey Citrine. I like this mixed in with my foundations. Uh, I've been wearing a ton of the NARS light reflecting foundation. If my new foundation routine is up, I'll link it below. Otherwise, uh, it's coming, but this foundation is back in the rotation heavy. And then Makeup Forever sent me their new powder foundation, but it's too dark, but it's the powder foundation, um, HD matte, whatever, and that kind of encouraged me to bring this back out again. I reviewed this, this, and this. They all have reviews and really like all of them. Uh, and then just for easy days, I've been wearing my Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer. For concealer, I have three in here. This one from Kosas, I didn't really like, but I wanna give it another chance. I didn't spend a lot of time with it. This one is fairly new from Urban Decay. I've only played with it maybe twice, so I don't have definite feelings on it yet. And then my everyday concealer that I wear all the time when I don't wanna test anything and I just want my makeup to look good and I know it's gonna look good is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And then I did do a video on this, a little um, kind of short, TikTok, real, Instagram short, whatever, la 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 la, there's so many names. Uh, on these new vitamin CC sticks from Ula Henriksen. And this one, the only thing is the packaging is a little hard. Um, this one is in the shade Apricot. So I'll link that down below if you wanna see it in action. Now let's talk uh, powders and mascaras, etc. I've got this powder in here, which I've been using nonstop to set my under eyes, the L'Oreal Age Perfect in warm, I should know this by now. Warm beige, just wanted to be sure. Love that to set my under eyes. And then I used this for the first time to set my face today or maybe second time and really liked it, the Maybelline Superstay. So let me know if you want a full foundation review on this. And then I have the two new NARS uh, powders. These are their soft matte powders. I have Sunshore for my face. I love the packaging is so sleek and thin. That's the shade I've been using on my face. It looks kind of light on camera. Nine grams of product in there, so no exact same amount as this L'Oreal. Maybelline has how many grams? Only six grams in the Maybelline, so actually quite a bit less. And then this one is in the shade Bay. I don't know if it's gonna be too yellow for my under eyes, but I figured I would try it. Then I have my Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. It's one of my favorite liners. And then the Makeup Forever Artist Resist. I like doing using this for my little dots. Look what I have on my eyes right now. 
blink blink these cute little dots is also using this new Too Faced palette so stay tuned it's coming <laughs> I'll link it below. It's also in the basket here. Uh, then I have the Maybelline. I know I've like talked about a lot of these products. So I just want to make sure that you know, if you want to know more about them, there's more places to find it. So they will all be linked below. But I have tested out this Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Lash Primer with the mascara. So if you want to see if there's any difference, that will be linked. And then this has been my favorite um, brow, or sorry, mascara combo, the Uma, Uma Beauty Drama Bomb Mascara with the Wonder Volume, Wonder Lux Volume from Rimmel. And then on the brows, still using this Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax and really loving it. This drawer looks a little bit sad, but here is the uh, cream, yeah, the cream drawer. So in here for bronzer, I thought I'd break this out again, the NARS Laguna in the shade, or sorry, the NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna 3. So it's a little deeper than the original bronzer. It's a great shade for me. Then Milk launched these new sticks. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I tried it once, didn't have a great, um, just kind of blended into nothing on my skin. So I'll have to test these out. And then they also sent me, they sent me like a ton of their blushes and stuff. So I wanted to try this one too. Really pretty. The thing was when I popped off the top of this and same with this one, it broke. Like when I popped off the little quote unquote protective top, look what happened to the product. I mean, that one is obviously way worse than this one. But anyways, this one is in the shade Swerve. Then also for highlighter, this is a really underrated highlighter from Burt's Bees. Their Luminizer, so gorgeous. The uh, Pillow Talk Matte Blush Beauty, Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I got this in the shade Dream Pop, but I might want to get the other shades. I don't know, it's so pretty. The NARS Orgasm Rush. This is the multiple. It has, you see the makeup? me drawing it on my face the difference between that and that but anyways this is really pretty love it as a blush bronzer and i thought i'd break out this again because i've been loving these red intense blushes this is revel and it is from hourglass beautiful packaging but it's messy now we have powders i don't know does this seem a little empty this time around but either way for my bronzers here back on my gucci bronzer kick so I've been using this quite a lot and then I thought I bought this I don't know when but this radiant bronzer from Rimmel I want to try it there's definitely some shimmer dare I say glitter in there so we'll see could be an overspray what I've been wearing non-stop and cannot stop using is this NARS foreplay blush quad and what I've been doing is just swirling I mean the shades are gorgeous individually but swirling all four of these shades together and then using it like a blush and highlight has been so so pretty so this is what I've been using non-stop and then I thought hmm, kind of gives me this vibe of this um, Bare Minerals bronzer which is like the blush bronzers that they came out with so I thought I would give this another try and then from Charlotte Tilbury the cheek to chic is a very just nice neutral blush in the shade climax very sexual blush drawer today damn lips let's talk lips i got the swatches they're not fully dry yet but up here we have this nyx lingerie and i really really like this i wear it a lot i wear these um kind of nudie shades a lot it's in the shade stripped down then up next from rare beauty this is in the shade fearless i wear this a lot sort of I don't really wear this on its own, but I do wear this with kind of like a peachy shade in the center. This is a fall shade that I wear nonstop or like fall winter, this kind of deep brownie maroon in 54 from Sephora Autumn Wind. It's a very, been a classic shade for me for years. A very easy lipstick is Merit in, a Merit lipstick in the shade Millennial. It's just like an easy perhaps millennial pink and I think this was in last month's monthly makeup basket but I really really love this NYX smooth whip matte lip cream and this one is in the shade push and cushion with a lip liner it's so stunning perfect kind of orangey tone and then these are Kylie cosmetics this is the sort of like I think satin or sorry velvet lipstick so we'll see I have not actually tried these on my lips yet but in the shade posy but speaking of velvet these Fenty Icon Velvets. This one is in the shade Breadwinner right here. A beautiful, deep, cool-toned brown. I have a lip swatch video of those, a link below. Uh, and then this is my Maybelline Vinyl. They've launched new nude shades. This one is in the shade Golden here on the end. And if my lip swatch video of these is up, I'll link it down below. I've been working lately. 
Okay, this is a last but definitely not least sort of situation. Firstly, um, last but not least, and then I say firstly, this is the, um, Chanel bronzer in the new deeper shade. So I've been wearing this a little bit lately, but this new palette from Too Faced, the Italian Spritz, it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I want to do many more looks with it. I am so excited about this. I think it's so pretty. Love the shades. Love the mixture of the mattes, the depth, the color. I feel really excited and inspired by this, and it's been a little while, so cannot wait to play with this some more. But that is everything from me. Let me know down below what you want to see more about. Be sure to check the description if you want to see more extra videos on some of these products. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!